be a very active hurricane season. We're also tracking the tropics and also the Gulf Coast. Uh, looking at right now with Tropical Storm Alberto, is that going to pack a punch there in Mexico and parts of southern Texas, right? Yeah, you know, the, the, there's no direct hit in, uh, in Texas, but they've, you know, I mean, we've been showing in Galveston some of the flooding that's taking place there, uh, some of which is uh, due to the, uh, the storm surge that's been taking place because the winds have been steady and pushing water against those eastern-facing shorelines. And, of course, they've had all the rainfall as a result of that system as well. And we've been feeling the winds here in southeast Louisiana uh, too, but not a lot in terms of rainfall uh, across our area. Let me show you uh, the water vapor imagery of the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, and, uh, and it looks uh, pretty fair, actually. Not much happening except for Alberto out here in the western uh, Gulf of Mexico. It looks to me like it's making landfall right now, but that official word comes from the National Hurricane Center. So we've got our eyes on that. Otherwise, the Gulf is uh, pretty clear, but we are expecting and watching Central America. Looks like there's another system that's uh, moving around that Central American gyre that's going to end up in the Bay of Campeche as we go into the weekend, and that may develop into a tropical system as well. But right now, Alberta was just about there making landfall. All the rainfall is moving to the west as that system moves further and further to the west as well. And it should weaken pretty quickly as it makes uh, landfall and moves over some pretty mountainous terrain. Uh, right now it's got 50 mile per hour winds and it's moving west at 13 miles per hour. So that system's not going to last for too much longer. For us, uh, one of the effects that we're feeling are winds uh, as a result of this system and they've been steady and pushing water against those eastern facing shorelines here in southeast Louisiana for the last several days. So there's a coastal flood warning in effect for all those areas shaded in brown and a coastal flood advisory in effect for all those areas that are shaded in the lime color. You've been experiencing some measure of storm surge flooding and that's going to continue to some degree uh, this morning, but should be a little bit less so, especially at the high tide and the winds uh, sub subside a little bit later on this afternoon. So right now they're at 5 to 15 miles per hour out of the east. The area that I was just making reference to down in Central America, that's got a medium chance of developing. And this is Invest 92L, and that's got a 30% chance or low chance of developing into a tropical system in the next couple of days. But the area down in the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, that should be driven to the west by the same system that's pushing or helping to move Alberto to the west as well. But that dome of high pressure that we're going to be under over the next several days is going to bring us some pretty high temperatures. Right now it's 82 at the airport, but it feels like 90. It's 81 over at the lakefront, but it feels like 87 degrees. So it's another very humid morning across southeast Louisiana. It feels like temperatures will probably be in the upper 90s to the low hundreds this afternoon. If you're trying to get in some fishing fishermen and fisherwomen, take a look at these numbers. 1.7 is the Rangers Hyde over in Grand Dial, 9 tenths per foot at the Wrigley's, and 2.2 over at the Southwest Pass. Here's a look at your low tide and your high tide times across the board this morning. If you're headed out to do some fishing, good luck. You don't have to worry about too much rain right now, but I do have about a 30%, maybe as high as a 40% chance of rainfall in the forecast for today, and we've had some showers uh, out there, but it's not been much at all. Uh, there is the possibility mainly down here on the south shore of some scattered showers, maybe some storms moving through the area during the late morning and afternoon hours. That should be all to the east of us or west of us by about uh, 5 p.m. And maybe an isolated shower or two down here on the south shore for your Friday. And I'm not expecting much of anything to be with us on Saturday. Temperatures, mid-70s on the north shore, upper 70s to low 80s down here on the south shore. This afternoon, your highs will be in the upper 80s to the low 90s. Rain chances going down Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Temperatures going up as a result and then the rain is back with us once again next week. Damon, thanks so much. Look